Okay, can everybody hear me? Um, here is a story. I am going to be watching two things today, but Target is my top watch. So this is a long, just so you know. I will also be looking if Target doesn't set up this. <laughs> this ADI is a short. So we're going to try to get something fast today and hopefully fast and big. So I'm going to have to watch two things. I don't think today is going to be an easy day to follow me. If you're here in a trial, um, I don't, I don't, I think it just watch, but I, Target is my favorite cat. <laughs> Target, uh, Target, Target <laughs> is 90 bucks today, which it could hit, you know, very, very quickly if it goes. So, you know, if we do it. And um, I'm looking for it to go immediately. And that's how really I feel like that needs to set up today. So ADI, I will flip to. Again, that's a short. Target is a long. If for some reason, uh, Target does not go. So just be on your toes today. Be on your tippy toes. I think the market holds today. It's a weird, weird look to the market. We're gapping down. I don't know why. It doesn't matter, but we are. I don't think we fall. I think the market holds today. Really just looks like we sold off into the close and then we just gapped down a little bit after that. I don't know what created that sell off, but it doesn't really matter. Um, we can go over this when we're done here. HPE worked, again, lay off of this for today. And low is, oh my gosh, this is completely around. Ooh, hold on, crap. I just noticed that low totally flipped. Here, we're watching Target. Wow, that was down before. Well, we could go back and look at that. Here, let's watch the Target, focus on this, and we'll see what happens. A Little bit of a spread here in Target, that's okay. Remember, this is a long if we do it. Let's see where this goes. Wow, that low really flipped. Okay, Target. Okay, stop's gonna be 70. Stop's gonna be 70 in Target. Crap, it's going. All right, just wait. I didn't call the entry and it's going. Target's going already. <sighs> I looked off for one minute at ADI. Target's going, it's going. Gosh darn it. <sighs> this is going, we missed the perfect entry, we missed it and it's my fault. I looked at ADI. Here, we're gonna get a chance to do it. Stop 70. Here, just take it. Just take it right here now, it's late. It's 30 cents above the entry, don't even worry about it. Put the stop in, it's gonna go. 87, 70 put the stop in for this. Just take it, take it. With the perfect entry was the 30s, it's 20 cents late, but it's gonna go. It's gonna go, we missed the perfect entry. It would have been right in here, the entry, 31. So in the 50s is better than in the 70s. It's gonna go, target's 90. It's my fault. It's my fault because I looked away for one second. 30 cents isn't going to kill us. The stop's going to hold. Be in target long if you want it. And, and literally, don't wait. Don't wait if you want it. It's going to go. I missed flipped. All right. Focus on target. Focus on target. Be in it if you want it. You could take it here. You could take it when it's down in the 40s. The perfect entry was in the 30s. We missed it because I looked away for one second. So be in it if you want it. Stop is 87.70. You can give it 75. I don't think it's going to matter, but it was a little bit of a moving spread in here, so I'm trying to give it the cushion. And this comes back down in here. We're going to add to it. Here, Lowe's is going too. Lowe's is going too, and this completely flipped around. I think Target's better. Also, that is just very big stop. But here, here, Target. $90 is the first Target. I think it can flurry over it. Um, gee whiz, is that a ticker symbol you're giving me? I 
I don't know what that is, and I never heard of it. Here. Here, we're going to get a chance to add more to Target if we want it. So the market's holding, which I kind of thought it would. So. Okay, we're going to get a chance to get a better entry here in Target. Wait, and I'll tell you where to take more, and if you didn't do it, I'll tell you where. For those of you that are in it, stop is 87.70. ADI flipped. Oh, crap. Hold on. Oh, I'm out of the target. Just hang on to it. Hang on to it and stay stay with this. I'm not moving off of it. I just got, I just got dinged out. Okay, we're going to retake it. Stop's going to be 87.50. And I'll tell you where. Twenty by fifty. Twenty by fifty target. Long. Twenty by fifty target if you want it. A second trade in here, and if you didn't do the first one, you could do this here. And don't take it till it hits. I know this is gonna hold. I don't want to look at anything else, people. ADI did not work, and I really do like this. I think it goes. So I don't want to move off of it. Because if I do, I'll miss it. <laughs> so let's do forty five is gonna be the stop now going to be 20 by 45, 17 by 45, 17 by 40, 17 by 40 target long. If you took the first stop, don't worry about it. It's going to go. And I'll just keep changing the numbers if they change. Seventeen by forty target. No, let's do eighty-eight zero one by forty. Eighty-eight zero one by forty target long. Sixty cents, basically. I'm just gonna wait till this goes. No, that's off. I'll give you a different number. I'm not looking at anything else. I really think this goes. I'll keep changing the numbers as it keeps moving. I'll keep changing the numbers. No one should be back in it yet. Let's see if this holds 87. Lowe's is going. Lowe's is going without target. And I wanted a quick trade today, and it was Lowe's. Unfortunately, we didn't get this. So I'm still watching this. Lowe's went. ADI flipped. And if this doesn't hold, we're not going to get it. And this, I'm just going to pass on here. What was the other one? SMCI. Nope. Okay, watching target for an entry long. Got stopped in the first trade. Was aggressive. Was worth it. I don't want to move off of this. I like it. Lowe's is going. We missed it. But actually, that was gapping down originally. No one should be in the second trade here. It did not set up yet. Let's do 21 by 50. 21 by 50 target long. And if you want to wait, wait for the five minute. Here, get in it, get in it, 
Don't worry about it if you didn't get filled perfectly at 21. Just take it. Just take it and put this top in. Target long. Target long and get this top at 86.50, and this is very wide. V in target long if you want it right in here. And don't worry if you didn't get a perfect fill. It, it's just moving very, very quickly. Just make sure you have the stop in. Let's take a look at the market. And I'm going to give you all the different numbers for the target. So the market's holding, which I figured. If you want to wait for confirmation, you'd be taking it over 88. If you're back in it, it's aggressive, but I like the gap. Obviously, that's why I did it. Um, you could take it over 88. The stop still has to be the same. Okay, 86.50. Just so you know. So these numbers are changing as it's going here. here. Here's target. So if you want to wait for the confirmation, it's just a wide stop. You could buy it over 88. Stop has to be 86.50. It's a buck and a half. Or you did it in here, which is a really good stop. So that's the story. We have the market with us. Lowe's is going. Man, this is really going. So this was down, then it was neutral, then it completely flipped. I have to check what time this flipped. I wish we had done this simply because of the fact that it went fast, which is what I wanted today. We didn't get a fast trade here in Target, but I still think it works here. Target, you got to be in it. Who's in it with me? Target. First trade stopped. We'll go over when we're done. Second trade looks good. Target's still the same, 90 bucks and over the high. High of the day was 89-ish, I think, 88, 89. So here's the targets. Target targets. Here, here it goes, target. You can add over 88. If you want to be aggressive, you can take it over 88. If you did not do it down in there, which was very aggressive, it's going to hit over 88. Or if you want to scalp out a little bit, if you took it down where I did in the 20s, here, here, target. Mm, this was not easy, but I kind of didn't think it was going to be easy. Uh, so this I just didn't go back to, which I wish I would have. But anyways, this was easy. This was not easy. It's still working here. Everyone should be in it and up. If you want to take it at 88, it's just a way bigger stop. Unfortunately, this took this required a retake today. Um, let me just see if I do add at 88, what that's going to do to my price here. No hesitation for me today to retake this. Okie doke. What's new, everyone? Here, target over 88. I'm so glad we stayed with this because we wouldn't have got anything at all. If we hadn't done lows right out of the gate, we wouldn't have got it. ADI is a mess. Market's long, but you can't really buy a gap down. Uh, no, I'm just going to keep what I have, I think, here for now, because it, it, it messes up my price. I've got enough of this to make it work. I don't think I'm going to add in this, because it, it, it's going to really lift my price too much. I have such a great price in this, in the 20s. Here, here it goes. Target. It's going to ruin my price if I take more. I think I'll hold the trade better if I just leave what I have and not do any ads. I'll be able to stick with it with more conviction if I just stick with what I have. But there's, I think that's the low of the day. I think we literally bought the stock at the low of the day, which is rare, but. If you wanna be aggressive though, you could. Now HPE I did add yesterday, but that was cheap and a snail. Here it goes. Here's Target over here. Oh, my lanty. Ah, I hope everyone did it. It wasn't easy. It was hard, actually. That's life. It's life. Some days are big. Some days are small. Some days are medium. Some days are easy. Some days are hard. Some days there's nothing. Here, Target over the high should kaboom. Try to hold it if you can. For, so the stock lifts over the high. Try to hold it because people shorted this here like idiots. So try to hold that because once it gets over the high, it's going to go push like up like that. And it could go right to 90. And then we're out.
and then we're done. And then we're done with our day. Here, Target. Holy crap, was this a good call. No one else liked the gap but me. See, longs are like this though. I'm saying it was a hard day, but it was only because we got stopped because longs are hard. Longs are so much harder than shorts to get aggressively because you have this kind of action. And that's why it's so much better to short, but I wasn't in love with this. I really wasn't in love with this and this really didn't go anywhere. And this other one here I wasn't in love with either. And I'm glad we didn't do this because this didn't work either. So what are you gonna do? Here, we'll talk about why I like Target later. If you wanna get out of this here, you can, it's a dollar. If you wanted to, if you wanna just get out of this here, it just moved more than a dollar. But if you wanna hold it to the big move, you gotta stay in it. If you wanna scale out of this, you can scale out of it. If you took the first loss, scale out of it here, you're up for the day or break even, depending on where you hit it. Here, I'm gonna quick get an options letter out on this because I did not send one out and now it's clearly, clearly going. Hang on. Oh, and I have to do talking points too. I'm only one person. I'm only one person. <laughs> Okay, be in this trade if you want it. I'm gonna quick look up the option chain on this for Target. Then I have to write talking points. All right, next week is the 31st. Who's doing what with Target? Who's holding it, who got out? Who's holding it forever? All right. See, here's, here's why I'm glad I didn't do the ad. See, this is, I'm fine with, like, I'm so up so much in this now that it doesn't matter that it just, that it, that's pushing back a little bit. See, if I had done the ad, I probably would have been like, eh. All right, uh, where are we at here? Target? Today is the 22nd. Did anyone do anything differently? Because lows really worked. Did anyone do lows? Did anyone do lows? I am getting a letter out if you're on the options letter list. Look at it, check your email. Did anyone do lows? Did anyone do anything differently? Lowe's is crazy. You could even go long lows in here. I'm not going to do two things at once. Lowe's is setting up again. At you, if you want to do two things at once, you could go long lows in here again. Try to get it up to 110. Um, target, I'm just going to stick with the trade that we're in. But Lowe's is setting up again. Okay, back around here, got that out. Lowe's, Lowe's is setting up again. Target, I'm just gonna stick with this. Did anybody do anything else? Koala Bear got all out, that was fine. Let's go over the trade here while we're waiting. So this I missed and I panicked and I thought, crap. Then when it came down in here, I took it, it was late, had to stop in. Again, that's why we use stops, but you know, I'm just looking back here, Would if I had done it here, I don't think the difference, it would have been any different because I wouldn't have gotten out of this bar. I wouldn't have gotten out, it looked great. So I would have stopped on this even if I had got the perfect price in the 30s. So it's neither here nor there. We got a better price entry in here. I think this is the low of the day. I'm giving it a wide stop or did just simply because of the spread in here. Sometimes it's 10 cents, sometimes it was more. So I probably doesn't need 86.50 anymore, but I'm just gonna leave it. So then we got it, then it ran up. Then it ran up and had a really nice move, okay? Almost a buck and a half, not quite. You could have gotten out. In fact, I think I probably might have gotten out if I hadn't got stopped here. But because I did, I'm trying to get something going in this. So right now we're in this. Stop is all the way down here. And again, we're long. Lowe's is going to set up again and go. I think it's late to do it, but it still could go. It still could go up to 110. It got very close. This was the move just completely forgot about it until right before the open looked at it and then the open happened and then it was totally around 
So that's one of the things why reasons why I think this went so big, so fast, so quick. We're in this and it looks great. And if you didn't do it, you could still do it here. This is doing nothing at all and this. Okay. All right, target. Okay, Koala Bear got out. Did anyone else get out? Jesse's out. Koala Bear's out. Jabaz is still in it. Is anyone else still in it? Oh, Ann got out. Triple Seven's holding. Jabaz is holding. All right, so let's talk about risk to reward. What was the risk in the trade in this second trade here? How much? If we took the trade, and again, this isn't an exact science, but if you went along the trade around 8720-ish and the stop is 8650, how much did you risk? Anyone, anyone at all? Hello? How much did you risk? 70 cents. So if you were in it around, again, 87.20, and it ran up to 88.50, again, I'm just using this as an example to show you, you there was a $1.30 move. Is that a good trade? Is that a bad trade? Is that a so-so trade? So if you risk 70 cents and you got $1.30, what do you think? Jabad says yes, good. Ann says good. Yes, it's almost two because 140 would be two. Look, again, you know, this is not an exact science. It's pretty darn close. So what does that mean? It means, and I'm just going to use money examples, not share quantity right now. But if you had risked a thousand share, a thousand dollars, you would have been up two grand, almost a little bit under two. So that, that's a good trade. So you could have got out. Some of you did. Now, what happened in this one here? Again, this was not exactly what I wanted to see in this as far as where we hit it okay but looking at it it wasn't that far off the risk in here this was about 80 cents where I ended up getting into it an 80 cent risk perfect entry would have been a lot better we just didn't get it okay would have been 60 cents anyways 80 cents in here it never really got going once we took it and it didn't hold so anyways we would have been looking for what a buck 60 buck 50 something like that if it had continued over the high over 89 and gone up to 90 we would have gotten at least that more so that would have been very good we're still looking for those same numbers here but the risk in this trade is less so actually that's good right and saying two to one two to one is good now sometimes when we do ads which is risky okay because you can't move the stop you improve your price. Sometimes you do them. You're pulling down your price. If you think the stock's going to be too wiggly and jiggly and wiggly and jiggly, then it's probably not a good idea to do an ad. Because if I had done the ad, I'd still be up in this trade here, but not as much as I am. So if you don't think you can hold on to it and withstand the wiggles and jiggles, don't do the ad. Because you can't change the stop. And if it pulls your price and makes it worse pricing, even though you think you have a long way to go and the trade looks great and you have the confirmation, then you may not be able to withstand holding it. We never hit here in the 15 minute. I think that's the next place we're waiting for, um, which is going to be basically 8820-ish. So this is the here this setup again i mean i know no one did it but you could be long this if you want it's not even too late right now it's not even that far off the entry you could be long lows right here i put the stock at stop at 106.25 i'm not doing this it's a buck it's a buck to get it up to 110 it's not a bad trade it's not a bad trade i just think we missed it out of the gate the perfect entry so i'm leaving it and i also don't want to be in two things at once i want to be able to hone this i still want a quick day it's 9:53. we could still be done today by 10 15 if that's possible um I don't know if it's possible. 
Give me other things in the retail sector. What else is in this sector here? Walmart. Let's take a look at Walmart. Walmart has finally had, this could be the turnaround day for Walmart. This could be the absolute turnaround day for Walmart. Who knows? It came in way more than I thought, but you have this. Anyways, long and short of it is, this may be the turnaround day for Walmart. It's solid as a green. Urban. I completely forgot about this. I forgot totally, thank you for reminding me, Urban. Urban ran up. Urban ran up, I forgot about it. I don't think it would have done this over Target, but it did have a move. It did have a quick move up in here too. I forgot about this. I forgot about it, you guys forgot about it. I completely forgot about Urban. Anyways, this did go. Right, let's look at what's out for tonight where we're waiting for this. I think if this is worthwhile waiting to push up over the highs simply because of the fact that people shorted this, not institutions, but people shorted this and they are gonna get stopped out over the high. Let's look for tonight. Here, target. All right. Today is the 22nd, tomorrow is the 23rd. So by the end of the week, we should, by the end of the week, the, the Fed chairman is gonna talk on Friday about the whole Jackson Hole stuff. So that's Friday. LB is tonight. William Sonoma is tonight. Fab is tomorrow morning, I think. Yes, Fab is tomorrow morning, we'll watch that. And then 100 Flowers. Children's Places tomorrow, Sears. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm here. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? Who was in this with me here? A couple of people. Some people are out, made money, that's fine. I'm holding on to this because we took the stop in the first trade and trying to make a bigger day out of here of something. And it also looks great. Here it goes, Target. So this little tally guy was 40 something, 45. 88.45, we gotta get over that. It's the next area, we gotta get a push. And we gotta watch it if it halts there. If it halts there, maybe I will get out. I really don't want to though. Let's try to think positive. If you wanna re-enter it, just get in here. The stop's gonna be the same. You can have a tight stop on this. If you wanna wait to re-enter it after 10, you can put the stop under the tail in the 15 minute, but I don't know if that's gonna hold. Remember, these are, this is a long, it's, it's a long. Woo, did you just see that invisible tick that went all the way down there? Eight, do you see it? This is gonna disappear if I move off of it. It's not gonna print though. There, look, is it 83? Did everybody see that? That was exciting. Right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stay with this trade. Market is still trying to hold. It really is trying. Uh, low, again, we just totally didn't do. Um, this one looks perfectly fine. This is just going nowhere. This, I said lay off of it, that was good advice. And we're in this waiting here we're gonna take a two minute break I have to write talking points back because I'm on TV today I hope I've got I've got I got bumped yesterday for the political stuff and I have to write a few talking points stay with this trade I'm not going anywhere I'm here but I got to take the mic off and write a quick email 
Just hang loose, short little break. Stay with the trade. I'll be back on in a sec.